Aha! Somebody putting duck sauce on the fried rice or fried fish, because Terrence Crawford likes the fish. And no, not for you ignorant asses out of saying, oh, the fried chicken. No, not fried chicken. Terrence Crawford like fried fish, and my boy like a little fried rice. But but anyway, somebody putting duck sauce on something. Now, check this out. I'm going to keep this video short, right? Al Heyman, you know, reportedly, right? You, you, take it with a grain of salt because I'm going to be honest. I don't believe nothing I hear no more. I share things with y'all to have a conversation and sometimes just make a joke, right? The word on the street is Al Heyman still understandably wants to work with Terrence Crawford because when you look at that 100, when you look at PBC, what real star do they have over there now? Deontay Wilder is not really, you know, he's, he's a star, but not, I'll say what star is really shining bright? Deontay Wilder is not really shining that bright. Earl Spence isn't really shining that bright. Jamel and Jamal aren't really shining that bright. Um, they, they had a bunch of stars over there that were shining real bright at one time. Danny Garcia, Porter, Thurman, the aforementioned names, Adrian Broner. They, 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 they had it. They had their stuff together. But they're, they're not the standard anymore. So it's understandable that, uh, that what's his name, Al Heyman, still wanted to do another fight with, with uh, Terrence Crawford. And it would be a pay-per-view pay -per -view fight. And he was trying to make a fight with Crawford and Jamel Charlo. But I truly believe Jamel Charlo isn't focused on boxing. I think that Canelo fight did two things to him. One, um, it put a lot of money in his pocket. And two, it he called himself Iron Man, right? I guess he realized he wasn't Iron Man. He was more like mashed potato man. Because he sure as hell ain't show too much resiliency. Uh, in there against Canelo. He just showed us one of those feet don't fail me now type type moments where he just pretty much, you know, road running around the ring with Wally Coyote chasing after his ass. But but that being said, Crawford isn't interested in fighting Jamel Charlo. I still think that's a, a, a big money fight for Crawford. And Al Heyman, it sounds to me like he wants to put some money in Crawford's pocket. But it, at the same time, I can't help but suspect that Al Heyman is trying to use Crawford to keep PBC afloat. Now, the other name that he was throwing uh, at Crawford was Erickson Lubin. Now, Erickson Lubin, you know, lost to Jamel. Uh, freakish knockout, sat there. Guy was on the ground, stiff as a goddamn mannequin in man. So, to put him in there with Terrence Crawford, uh, I don't know. Erickson Lubin did rebound, have a couple good wins, got in there with Fundora, the goddamn, you know, uh, giraffe man. And giraffe man, you know, bing bing him. Um, and had him looking like Martin and shit. Uh, but the bottom line is, Terrence Crawford against Lubin, I don't see how you could you could favor Lubin in that fight over Terrence Crawford, even though there's highlights of Lubin knocking down Edgar Belenga in sparring. I just don't think Lubin could really mess with Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford's reach is just too much reach, too much power, too much speed, it's too much IQ. And Lubin's a great fighter, I just don't think he can mess with Terrence Crawford. And then, last but not least, the fight that Crawford just does not want is Jerome Boots in this. And... You know, Crawford said, even at the uh, conference there in Puerto Rico where uh, Al Carcel, the president of the WBO, gave him the uh, diamond ring, right? That's the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter on the planet. You know, Crawford said, look, man, you know, nothing against Jerron Ennis. Will I keep fighting at 147? He just kind of teased people with one of those, hey, you never know, type, type, type kind of smirks and statements. But deep down, Crawford wants big fights, big fights. Uh, in the heavier weight classes because he realizes there's more money there. And that's what he's focusing on. So he's not even interested in Jerome Boutsinis. So not even Al Heyman, uh, with with the type of money he's known for getting fighters, can can bait Crawford to, to, to work with him. Not even Al Heyman, with his history of helping fighters make the most money possible and structure their business the kind of way to where they make money off of all all modes of revenue, pertaining to the event. Not even that can entice Crawford. And then the one thing that a lot of people say, which is ignorant, about Al Heyman is just all about black fighters, which is complete bullshit. But uh, not even the, the, the establishing a bromance with Al Heyman is something that Crawford is interested in. Crawford is out here uh, self-sufficient, independent, and doing his own thing. And he knows what he wants, and he doesn't care if he misses out on an opportunity as long as he's comfortable with the decisions he's making. 
and you can't blame him for that. But we'll see what he does next. I already tell you, we already know what's going on. You look at all the WBO president. That man never closes his mouth. I wonder if he has he takes hot showers because his skin is tight. You know, they say when you take hot showers, you know how like your clothes shrink, and it's like his skin shrinks. So it's like he gets in the shower like this. And the hot shower, his skin starts to shrink, and his mouth just and he just opens up. He can't close his mouth. Uh, I don't know what I don't know other way to describe it except he got tight skin and shit. But um, they're trying to set Terrence Crawford up to fight uh, the winner of Tim Zhu and Keith Thurman and to fight for that uh, WBO strap if Tim Zhu was to lose, they're going to strip him and they're going to make it available for Crawford and Thurman. If Tim Zhu wins, Crawford will go straight at Tim Zhu and fight Tim Zhu. So not surprised that Crawford saying, hey, hold your horses. Um, I don't want to take it to the stupid and, and work with you right now, Al. Let me, I got some business to tend to here. Within 120 days, I should be back in the ring against one of these guys. But I still think Crawford needs a stay busy fight. I do. I think he needs a stay busy fight. Uh, he wanted it to go in with Earl Spence. Why wouldn't he want it to go in there with Keith Thurman or Tim Zhu? It just doesn't make sense to me. So that's the one thing that I'm not sure about, but we'll, I'm sure we'll find out. But that being said, some people say, hey, we understand Crawford. We agree with what he's doing. Other people are saying, He's putting duck sauce on the fried rice or fried fish and not fried chicken for you ignorant asses who try to make your little jokes on this channel. I see all y'all. That's why I'll be blocking y'all. Um, but that being said, more to come on of Terrence Crawford. I don't think he's putting duck sauce on the fried rice. I personally think my boy is out here just doing things his way. He's earned that right. And he really doesn't care what anyone thinks. And you can't hate him for that. Y'all keep cool. I'm in the breeze.